Hey everybody, does your Competition Electronics Pocket Pro Shot Timer ever reset itself while you're trying to use it and you have to fool around with it, take the battery and stuff like that to get it to work again? I'm going to show you how I fixed mine. Competition Electronics Pocket Pro 2. This thing is possessed. Turn it on, the screen sort of lights up. You can't see this in the daylight. You squeeze it. You don't end up pressing the button. Squeeze it. It's beeping. No timer. For some reason I don't even get the... Uh, okay, press some buttons. This is all screwed up. Take the battery out. Reset it. Something's funny going on. Loose connection somewhere. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. If you take this apart and you put the battery like that and hold it there good and tight by hand, the thing seems to work very good, no problems. No problems. The problem is the battery doesn't make very good contact with these leads when the case is mounted together. Good reliable battery contact with the leads relies on a two-piece case. The top side or this top half of the case which is mounted to the bottom half, the, the top half of the case will push on the battery and the bottom half to make good contact with the leads in here and what you've got is probably in the hot sun something like that you've got a flaky case I mean the thing gets warm and stuff like that and you may temp Im intermediately lose contact right here if the leads are bent one a little more than the other that will push the battery away and you will not have good contact and the fucking thing won't work so, you need to get rid of this shit and put a battery clip on there. So we're going to have to unsolder these two clips, take our pocket knife or some type of file or something, get rid of that little plastic tab and cut away this wall right here so the battery with a clip will fit in this hole. Okay, so I just cut away the tab that was right there. And there are some tabs right here. I just cut them away. I used a Dremel to do it. And a file to fix up the edges. I also cut a notch right here for the battery clip to fit into. We got this thing. This here is negative. That's positive for the battery. So with battery with a clip on it, black wire is negative. So we just unsolder these joints right here, pull this off, and uh, solder on these wires. This actually soaks the solder up off the joints as you melt it. And we solder the red wire on, we'll put a dab of solder here. Flip this thing over. Put more solder where the wires come through. That's that. Now put this thing back together.
let's poke the wires up into the body. There you go. Works now. Squeeze the body. All that stuff. Doesn't blink, doesn't go off. Doesn't reset. It's all good. That's it.